We're going to measure to the nearest half inch. This is lesson 8.14. When we use a ruler to measure how long an object is, we can measure to the nearest half inch. Here's a ruler, and I've got the inch side up. You can see the centimeters are down here. And in between the one, the two, the three, the four, you can see that there's all these other little lines. See that? Well, right in the center between each number is a bigger line. That's the half inch mark, okay? If we were to look at it up close, we can see the one, the two, the three for the inches, and there's this medium size line right here. That's the half inch mark. Here it is again, and here it is again. It's in between the numbers. See that? You're going to learn about the rest of these little lines in the future grades, but for right now, for second grade, we're just worrying about the inch lines and the half inch lines, okay? To make it look a little easier for you, it would be like this. Now, yeah, the, I drew little lines in with a pencil, like how they really are on a ruler, but what we're not worried about is the inch marks where the numbers are and that one line that's in between the numbers. That's the half inch, okay? So this green line is one and a half inches long because it passed the one inch part and then it has another half inch. See that? Half is when you split something that's whole, like a candy bar, and you want to share it with somebody and you split it right down the middle so that everyone gets an equal share. See? That would be half and that would be half. This green part is half of the rectangle. You can see a half written like this with a slanted line, the one and then a slanted line and a two. You might see it like this with a one and then a straight line and then a two underneath it like that, okay? But writing the half like this with the straight line makes math easier. And you may not notice it for third or fourth grade, but when you get into middle school and you start doing algebra and adding and subtracting and multiplying and dividing fractions. And in high school, when you do algebra and calculus, you're going to thank me. Try to get in the habit of writing your fractions with a straight bar like this. It's going to make it a lot easier for you when you have to add, subtract, multiply, and divide them. Okay? That'll be coming up when you get in closer to middle school. Okay? So that's half. It's when you split a whole thing right down the center evenly. So it's fair and and the equal shares are on each side okay and when you have a half and another half that makes a whole one see so let's see if we can figure out how long these color lines are here we've got this purple line and when we look at our ruler we can see our numbers and it passed the seven it didn't reach the eight yet see that can you see where this one is this one would be seven and a half seven and a half inches. It passed the seven and it went past it by half inch. See that? It's right in between the seven and the eight, right down there. All right, let's try this one. Can you tell how long that orange line is? It passed the one. It didn't get to the two yet. It's right in the middle, so it's one and a half. See that? Let's try another one. How long is this line? We can see that it passed the eight, but it didn't get to the nine. This one's eight and a half. All right, let's try this one. Oh, this line's long, isn't it? It almost goes to the end. Let's look over here. It passed the 11, it didn't get to the 12. It's in between the 11 and 12, so it's 11 and a half. 11 and a half. Let's try one last one. This dark pink line, we can see that it passed the five, but it didn't quite get to the six, did it? This one is five and a half. 
it passed the five. It didn't get to the six yet. It's right in the middle between five and six. It's at five and a half. Okay? So that's how you can measure to the nearest half inch. Okay? You'll learn about the rest of those little lines on the ruler next year and the year later. Okay? But for right now, second grade, you should worry about the half inch and the inch increments. All right? I'll see you next video. We're going to talk about adding on a calculator. It'll be a real quick short video before we go into chapter 9. All right? I hope I'll see you there. Bye.